Today I'm going to try to reestablish my little throw together because I was too excited to get it going, but I figured I got to slow it down a little bit, make sure everything's done right first so that I can get my, you know, great looking boards out of this stuff so that I can be even happier instead of just, eh, you know, it was really fun, it was really neat to do it, but then it's like, nah, my board didn't come out as well as I wanted to, so. I'm going to try to re-put this up on kind of like a skid to where I can, if I need to drag it somewhere, I can, and then hopefully I'll have ever to where when I re-drag it somewhere, it should be obviously pretty set up and already kind of levelish to go. And then of course to later on, build me a really nice actual stand for it, but to get it leveled out, which is kind of the position it's going to be in right now for a while i just kind of made it for like a skid purpose just in case got to drag it around but so i need to try to also get i've got my boards that i'm putting down but i also need to see how far these little feet are apart so let's go to the centers these bolts are pretty much the center so, not quite in the center of that one. We're going to call that one 38. Alright, we're going to call that one 67. And of course, if you're looking for one of these little fancy notebooks that I've got, you might just have one laying around your house and don't, don't even know it. We'll call that one 77. Right. Now I've already kind of gone on here and cut me out my little skid point. I think that's a pretty decent one. I went, these are four by sixes treated. And I went two and I went about halfway down, two and three quarter, and did about a 22 degree angle but going back. So that should I think do pretty good on that. And I've made these 14 feet long. We know that we've got, we're starting at our 12 inch mark. That's what the first post would be. Now, if you hear a lot of stuff that sounds like gunfire in the background, that is good old Shauna burning up a bunch of some older bamboo that we cut down. <laughs> and all those in between those nodes, there's like little air pockets, water pockets, and they will just pop, 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 pop. So can't hear me too well I apologize for that because she is just having fun getting rid of all that stuff that's been laying on the ground for a long time <clears throat> and as you can hear she's having a good old time over there yeah it was a whole bunch of the bamboo when we first got out here to get things kind of set up and she decided that it's been laying there long enough because we haven't had a chance to really get over in that spot to kind of clear it up. And that's all along the front area. We've shown y'all before on how we're cleaning all that stuff up. So, she is just going at it over there. So, 47 and an 8. Seventy-six and an eight. So let's see. So, and that should be at about a twelve inch mark, like we had down at the other end. So it should come out just nice and perfectly even all the way down. Well, of course, you know, everything looks good on paper. So you start doing it. Hey, look, there's a firecracker now. Oh, the sound of bamboo burning in the morning. It's hot. 
hot over there. It's warm by the fire? Are you sure? I always thought that it cooled off when you got near a fire. Hmm. Smart again. Well. The thing is, it burns up so fast that by the time I get back over here, I've got to go back over there and fuel it. Yeah, that old dry bamboo, it, it doesn't take long for it to burn up. Do you need help with something before I go get the rake and work on that fire? Uh, I don't think I do. I'm just kind of drawing all this out. I'll need help for you to move these beams and stuff for me in a minute. Okay. I know, this is kind of the boring part. So, what would y'all like to talk about? What's on y'all's mind? Leave it below. Let me know. Let me know if you think this is probably just a waste of time. I don't think it will be. I think if I can get this nice and good and sturdy, that way I don't have to worry about the track moving as much. So we should be pretty good. I've also got it spaced to where it should be 28 inches is what I'm going to put this from outside to outside. Well, I've always been told it's best to always make sure you put your frown down because when you have it like this, sometimes that wood will curl up so we want to put the frowns going down so my idea here is, is <coughs> that should line up along the edge there the other thing I'm going to have to do is I'm also going to have to measure out where the log stops go down as well because, as you can see over here, you know, right beside this foot, and that foot, and this foot, my idea is that 2x6 is going to hit right in between, so I'm going to have to do a little notching so that the log stops can go all the way down if need be as well. Okay, so that's the idea of having it like that so that the feet can go on this. Basically putting the edge of the, of the foot there on the edge and having each one of the feet where they screw down right along the side. But might be a little hard to get some of those screws once I straighten them all out. But, that's the idea. Hopefully it works. Okay, guess I'm going to have to call for my lovely assistant to help kind of straighten this up. And she said to holler for her. What do you need? Uh, that one up there, them spaced 28 inches. Problem. Glasses are over there. <laughs> you really should wear your own glasses. 28 from the outside or inside? I remember a woman telling me, you know, you need your glasses carrying with you all the time. They're over there. Go from this side to this side, like I did. Okay. 28 inside or outside? Outside. Well, that board should go edge to edge, should be 28 inches. Does it go edge to edge along that line? Well, yes and no. Okay, well it's probably close enough. That's rust, rust mask right there. That's right. Close enough. Close enough. Close enough, it normally works pretty good. Alrighty. 
I think I'll set me in a couple of nails over here to get one side set up. Yeah, nail gun sure will be faster, except for gonna go drag the compressor out, get the nail gun out. Don't have all my electrical kind of put around everywhere out here where I'd like to have it, so it does make it a little bit of a hassle. Alrighty, so we got it all finished up. I didn't want to bore you with all the tedious time of sitting down here cranking and leveling and everything else. So, recapping this, use the 4x6 as I like put down for some decent supports. Cut my little notch in case I want to drag them around or anything. Then we just put a 2x6 in between to the top so that I could get the leg feet part to set down so that I could actually screw them down to this frame because I figured screwing this all down would keep this from vibrating that little bit that might kind of cause things to get out of, out of whack and then I took the excess because this was 16 feet and I only needed about 14 feet I took the excess and put a that big brace through here <coughs> and you know like I was saying use those timber lock bolts to drill all the way in to hold that into place real good to get it real good and sturdy. Then of course once I got it up here, played around and and leveled as as much as I you know as I could to get it <coughs> to get all the frame and everything just great level. I, I really took my time this time doing it guys so should come out a lot better. And then I've got my blade now. It was a lot easier to get my blade a lot level, you know, just by adjusting the tension on this cable to actually raise this edge up just a little bit. And so, after I got all that done, I was looking as I was measuring, because I was measuring off my, my bar down here, that I had those little striations those little rubs in there and I thought I kind of knew what it was and if you notice when we first got this going that blade popped off because I had it on too tight and yes it I did break some teeth here so I've got a few little teeth if you'll notice that's a that's a that's a regular tooth and then see here that one that one that one that one there's one over here and one over here, they all got broke because they got lodged behind that big cast iron pulley. So, I got to go order blades, of course. Um, I should have already, of course, prepared. Didn't do it. Should have ordered the blades when I ordered the mill. My wife said something about it. I was like, ah, I wish you'd be good for a while. 
And she was like, yeah, you're right. You don't need to get home. So I was like, okay, dear. So we're going to blame this on my wife again. We'll just say it's her fault again. I edit the videos. She'll probably edit all that part out, though. But <laughs> anyway, so yeah, so I've got to get me some blades ordered, of course. I was just kind of looking around and shopping around first if I can just find some. But so far, it seems like the, the Woodland Mills, it seems like you can only really get the blades from them because they're a little bit different sizing, I think, from all the others. But I guess that's a good thing because you know that you get a good blade because so far the blade seems to be pretty good while it's cutting, you know, right. But of course, you know, when you break teeth off, you can't really tell. But I do like it, you know, because each tooth is, is offset. You've got an offset, a straight one, and another offset so that it cuts just a hair bit bigger than that middle tooth so the blade can just slide through real easy. That's why it, it goes through here real easy, so. Okay, so I believe this is a, a sweet gum tree. Well, don't quote me for sure. I think that's what it is. That's what came out of the garden over there. If you want to see how we're kind of clearing all that area up, that we still don't have quite finished. Shauna, she'll probably leave a link somewhere up here. I'm pretty sure to that, if you want to see it. Uh, it was a good, you know, sweaty mess doing that, but it's, it's looking a little better. We're, we're almost getting close to being able to till it. So, well, not really, but you know, hey, <laughs> time, 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 right? All right, so let me go get that hearing protection. I'll be right back with y'all. All righty. I've got it all back. I also like to give out a nice kudos because I couldn't have done this at all because I'm only working kind of with one arm right now. But my kids came out, and my buddy David, good good guy, they came out and did all this heavy lifting for me and, and doing all this to move it all around so that I could get it in place. And that kind of made me feel pretty good. It looked like I was a supervisor for a little while. I'd like to say kudos to them if they're watching. Thank y'all very much. All right, I'll stop boring y'all because I'm just having way too much fun just playing, playing, playing. But I wanted to see how thin I could do this with even with that messed up blade. So, you know, like I said, you got those little marks, the little striations in it because I've got those messed up teeth, you know, so you can see all those little lines and that's because that's where those dull teeth keep passing by. So, that whole blade is like, uh, 125 inches around. So within 125 inches, it makes it back around. It only goes that far until it hits the next dull spot. So, but look at that little paper cut thin deal here. That's like a 16th of an inch. That is just so cool. Okay, it's cold for me. I don't know about y'all. Hopefully it is because that's just that's just amazing. I like that. But look, that has just got some pretty stuff. I just love seeing that. And I did notice that I'm a little bit more square now, so all that leveling out did pretty well. I'm still going to play around with this. I think I've got it to four inches by three and a half. Yeah. So four inches by three and a half. But of course, you know, I've still got some bark still left on this side, but I can still play around. So I appreciate y'all sticking around and watching me have a lot of fun. And hopefully you had a little fun too. If you did, you know, kind of give me a thumbs up. I would appreciate it. And, uh, you know, subscribe, share with your friends. Or, I mean, not even your friends. I don't care. You know, it'd be cool. I want everybody to see this. This is just so cool. Y'all have a great, wonderful day. Can't wait to see y'all again. Later.